वी आर एट एट्टी थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स लेस गो ओके सो वॉट्स अप गाइज एम पिचल सैमी वेलकम टू दिस न्यूज वीडियो सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर एटी थाउजेंड सब्सक्राइबर्स वो आर वेरी क्लोज टू हंड्रेड के सो इफ यू गाइज लाइक दिस काइंड ऑफ कंटेंट कीप सब्सक्राइब इन कीप कमेंट इन कीप लाइक इन एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वो यू डू समथिंग अ बिट डिफरेंट अ बिट नॉट रिलेटेड टू फिल्म रैदर अ बिट मोर इन द टेक्स साइड सो एज यू नो आई एस फोर्टीन हैज बिन रिलीज पब्लिकली एंड द मेन advantage of this you can customize your icons using the siri shortcuts and a lot of you have requested of how to make this particular icons and it is pretty simple and a lot of videos are already there but in this particular video i want to share my icons pack my basic icons pack which i created from my own and i want to just share them in this particular video too so with that said it is pretty simple of how to use this particular effects so the first thing which you guys need to do is you know just open your iphone so it is basically looking like this uh, i don't know if it's visible or not i'm pretty sure it's not visible um let's say it's looks like this it, i'm going to just post it on the screen if you guys are not able to see so what you guys basically need to do is just go to the search tab and click on shortcuts after that when you open shortcuts just click on a plus button on top side after that click on add action click on script in click on open app and after that you going to see the window opening and you need to choose the app which you need to open so let's choose any random app for example in my case i'm going to choose youtube and just click on that after that what you need to do is just click on any kind of shortcut name in my case i'm going to keep it youtube only and then click on this particular icon which is there and after click on the three dots which is there on the top right hand side this particular window is going to open click on add to home screen and then after that click on this green button right here don't click on the above green button rather click on the lower green icon which is there click on choose photo and then after that you know choose the photo which you have downloaded from the link in the description and i have just kept the empty canvas also with which you can just create your own icons if you have different sets of apps and all you can just easily create them in photoshop or any kind of editing software out there just choose the app which you are going to put the icon on for example in my case i am going to just click on youtube and click on done and then after that you going to see it is already added in a home screen just like this as you can see right here so after that what you can basically do is you have to just change the icons for each and every app which you want to keep it on the background and if you guys don't want to just keep any particular app on the you know screen then you can just click on that app and click on remove icon not uninstall the app rather the remove the app from the window from the screen and it is going to be placed in the app library which is there in iOS 14 it is really good and handy too i have kept the background download link in the description too you guys can download it from there as well it is a bit hectic job if you guys have a lot of icons but at the end of the day it is going to look really really pleasing after that that goes for the icons the second thing which we are going to cover is widgets and there are really cool and awesome new widgets for iOS 14 which you can absolutely use android users are really laughing at us right now but for ios users this is totally a new thing so what you need to do is just download these two particular apps these two particular apps are really cool the first one being color widgets with which you can customize and put a lot of creative widgets for calendars and your clock as well and you can just put it on the screen and you can just adjust the colors i want to keep it as minimal as possible so i am choosing black and white but you can choose whatever you guys feel to and the second app which i like is called widget smith and it is a pretty cool app for adding clock widgets or calendar widgets whichever you choose you want to just choose the app customize it any way you want to and then after that go to the screen click on the plus button on the top side and then choose this particular widget and it is going to automatically put the widget on the screen it is that simple and it is very easy to customize it is very easy to just you know choose your colors your color palettes whatever you guys like for your kind of customization on your screen and it is pretty much done and it took me a bit of time to customize each and every icons but after that after everything the final result looks like this and it looks really cool 
And one particular thing which I don't like about this particular shortcut technique is that once you click on this particular app, as this is a shortcut, this is not directly the app, you are going to be redirected to the Siri shortcut menu and then to the main app. So there is a bit of lag between the opening of the app and that is, I guess, usable for today or tomorrow, but I'm sure Apple is going to update this thing soon because this is a really cool and handy thing and I'm sure a lot of people are actually liking this particular customization. And I'm sure Apple also kind of predicted this and I'm sure they're going to just change it in the update soon. So with that being said, that is enough for this particular video. The download links to my icon pack is there in the description below if you guys want to check it out. With that being said, if you guys like this particular video, drop a like, comment down below and say what you guys think of this particular video. And with that being said, this is Pixel Sammy. We'll be back with another video soon. Peace out.